I always make toast by ironing the bread. <laughs> it tastes much better that way. Lee, what do you think? Do you, do you apply butter pre-ironing? No. <laughs> well, that would be mental. No, that would be crazy. <laughs> because then you are in danger, of course, of cooking the butter. You'd get a bois noisette <laughs> on top of your toast, which wouldn't do you any good at all. It's He's good. Is this burn, the same? Burn, burn, burn. <laughs> the same iron that you use for the clothes then straight after? You can use any hot flat metal implement to iron the bread. You don't have to use an electric <laughs> iron. Yeah. What, what I, other, I can't what other... put a shirt in a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> what other f hot flat metal implements do you have? Well, you can get a spatula and heat it. A spatula? That must take a long time to do toast. Not a, pl not a plastic one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know the basics, you could, you, could, you, could get a, you could get a fish slice. And Why? Eat, is this, the kind, of, is this the kind of advice you give out on MasterChef? Because you Never, ever eat up a plastic spatula. <laughs> <laughs> what do you put... What's the bread on? It doesn't matter what the bread's on. Oh. Normally a work surface. So when you put the iron on, you're going to squash it a little bit, surely. To flatten it a little bit and squash it a little bit is the point. So bread without is getting flat. your sweaty palm on it. <laughs> bread it's is all flat, flat, isn't it? Well, of course, it's, 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 not, it's not rolling hillocks. I know this. <laughs> but it's also bread, bouncing. Bread isn't necessarily flat. It if you be. slice it flat, it's flat. <laughs> a loaf you of bread it? isn't flat. What are you doing? <laughs> Toad a loaf of bread, you say... <laughs> Paper, yeah. paper is flat. <laughs> bread isn't necessarily no, flat. Bread's only flat if you cut it into a flat shape and then iron it like anyone sensible. <laughs> if I was going to pick you up on anything tonight, Lee, and I'd like to think that I will, it would be it would be how you pronounce the word topiary. topiary. Did anybody notice he went topiary? <laughs> it was like a wonderful mixture of trimming a hedge and a little bowl you have of things that smell nice. <laughs> Topiary, what do you say? Well, it's topiary. It's, it's not topiary. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. just to backtrack, there's a man ironing his bread, and I'm being picked up because I'm saying topiary a bit like potpourri. Yeah. Where the hell's David gone? Oh. I thought he was so middle class that I pronounced it wrong and he fainted. I'll tell you what, I knocked a water bottle onto what I can only describe as a nest of wires. <laughs> And also, he was a little bored. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, you were just yeah. talk, trying to teach yeah. Lee how to speak. I mean, we could be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, if you iron bread, wouldn't you... Would it ever properly toast? Wouldn't it just get very soggy and hot? You could put butter in the steaming bit. You could have could a butter one it. and a jam one. <laughs> But if you put the jam in, then you're going to have the problem you have with a Pop-Tart, which is when you get a Pop-Tart comes out and you forget to let it cool down. <laughs> a Pop-Tart is something that working-class people have for breakfast, <laughs> just, before, just before it's mentioned by anybody. I'm about as working-class as it gets. I don't know what a Pop-Tart is. You iron bread! <laughs> <laughs> I don't always use an iron. What do you sometimes use? I just told a you. A hot metal implement, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. a spatula. Yeah, or a fish slice. How are you heating up the fish slice? You could just put that on a naked flame. It's just yeah. occurred to me that it's a bit like toasting on the agar, isn't it? Because it's a hot surface. Similar. Sure, Mind that you, that is posh. Arga, <laughs> that's a posh thing. <laughs> I suddenly realised. <laughs> have you seen an agar? Yes, yeah. I have seen an agar. <laughs> How have you know I've broken into some very nice homes? <laughs> Say, Lee, truth or lie? Well, I don't know. A what fish do you think? To, 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 to toast bread with a fish slice, yeah. you'd have to get it up to such a temperature it'd be like molten lava. I <laughs> hate to bring everyone, but the allegation is an iron. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. He said that he also does it with well, the fish slice. That's just chat you're having on your own time. <laughs> the allegation is the iron. Who are you, his lawyer? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, for the purposes of this, yes. <laughs> Come on, let's make a, a decision right, go on. here. What do you think? I simply don't buy it because of the fish slice issue. Nina? I just can't imagine that he'd waste, like, 20 minutes ironing a piece of bread in the morning. I don't think he'd sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, How big it... is your bread? <laughs> <laughs> you got to lie? You got to lie? OK. Yeah. We'll say a lie. Saying it's a lie. OK, Greg Wallace, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? It's a lie. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's a lie. I did very well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Greg doesn't make toast by ironing bread. I thought that was I made a mental note to try that. <laughs>